Hello there YouTube, how's it going? You guys are looking good today, especially you, Tabitha. So I'm sure at one point we've all looked up a how-to. How to tie a tie, how to dye my hair, how to tie a noose because people on the internet told me to kill myself. Or you might have looked up a how-to on YouTube and came across How To Basics channel. What the fuck? This channel, How To Basic, makes Marina Joyce's videos just look normal. But anyway, there's a site called WikiHow that has a lot of how-tos. The only thing is that there's a lot of stupid how-tos on that site. So we're gonna go through some, and I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna learn how to. First one, how to make yourself famous on YouTube. So according to WikiHow, this is how you become a famous YouTuber. Step one, be culturally relevant. Relevant. Relevancy. I, I don't have any of that. So to become a famous YouTuber, relevant. What's relevant right now? Marina Joyce. No, no, that's a couple weeks ago. The face swap challenge. No. Keemstar. Leafy drama. Uh, um, you know what? You know what's always relevant? YouTube drama is always relevant. I'm just gonna start a YouTube drama show. 100 layers of YouTube drama. No, I'm just kidding. But next step, collaborate with famous YouTubers. Well, yeah, but it's not that easy to collaborate like that. Okay, next how to, how to ask your boss for a one night stand. Who would look this up? Step one, take it down a button. Step two, ask to see him after hours. Step three, turn up the heat. Step four, get him in your house. I think this guide also works if you're trying to kidnap someone. Next how to, I'm gonna teach you how to end a marriage. Now I don't think people who need to end marriages are my typical subscriber, but uh, yeah, let's go with it. Step number one, make sure it's the right decision. Okay, I was gonna try to make a joke out of this article, but it's actually kind of sad. Like this, figure out where you're going to live. Look how sad he is in that apartment all alone. You know what, let's actually find an article that can actually help me out right now. How to cope when your favorite TV show ends. I watched Stranger Things season one and I'm kind of sad because I need season two. Like I need it now. Step one, take a break from TV. Once your favorite TV show ends, nothing else you watch is going to ever feel like it fills the void. That's very true. Step two, vent about it online. Step three, make friends with other fans of the show. Step four, write fan fiction based on the show. Okay, I'm not gonna go that far. How to hide an erection. Step one, disguising the situation. Pin your erection close to your body using a hand in your pocket. Look how obvious that looks. That doesn't look natural at all. Step two, use larger items to conceal your crotch region. That looks even more obvious. Hey guys, uh, no nothing to see here. Step three, distract yourself. It's natural for anyone to get lost in a train of thought, especially if those thoughts are suggested. The key to getting your erection to die down is to keep your mind occupied on decidedly unsexy things. We just have to think of the most unsexy things. Okay, next how to, how to become better friends. Um, why does it have a picture of the two friends in bed? I, I think I'll skip this one. How to poop while standing up at a toilet. Has anyone looked this up? Like, not as a joke? Oh my god. They get really graphic with these pictures. Do people actually do this when they go to the bathroom? This seems like a lot of work. I'm pretty sure I would slip if I did that. How to look like Donald Trump. You know, I think we'll pass on this how-to. I don't know if I really, I don't know if I really want to know how to do that. How to contact Steve Harvey. There's a whole how-to on how to, and someone put in all this effort just to make an article, how to contact Steve Harvey. The steps are follow Steve on LinkedIn, comment on Steve's Instagram profile, tweet Steve, send Steve a Facebook message. This must be very helpful to all those Steve Harvey fangirls out there. Next up, how to contact Steve Harvey. Keep it positive. Hi Steve, my name is Jane. I am 16 years old. I'm a huge fan of yours. That's actually a pretty good approach. Some people take a different approach when they try to contact me and send me stuff like this, but um, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, that's all the how-tos I'm gonna teach you today. Well, actually, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really teach you any. I kind of just made fun of them. Regardless, if this video did make your day even a little bit better, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you hated this video, make sure to show me who's boss and give this video a thumbs down. 
you sure showed me. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. Actually, no, no, no. I need to, I need to go to the how to become a famous YouTuber and learn how famous YouTubers do outros. See you next week. And he's holding a cat. Okay, I could do that. See you next week.